Hello. Uh, it is the 12th of April, 2021. And so today is another interesting day. I'm guessing that this whole month has the same sort of palindrome about it. So it's the 12th and then the full breakdown of today adds up to 12, three. So one plus two is three, obviously. But that's how we get the numerology calculations is just one plus one plus one. So it's 12, 12 on either side. <clears throat> and yesterday was 11, 11. And I'm guessing way back it goes, it was the same. So it's very interesting having that mirrored energy. It's like a double whammy. We're trying to be forced to, <laughs> to really learn our lessons and to really have that strong energy for that day that we need to learn. Um, so we're actually out of cusp energy now. So the cusp energy either side of the new year, so three months either, either side of the year, you're easing into the next year's energy and easing out of the previous year's energy. So I think it's interesting that this month, I'm thinking it's probably the whole month has been this palindrome energy where it's the day that it is, the full breakdown is the same vibration. So last month was an eight. Um, so you add up March and then 2021. And then this month, uh, oh, I haven't added that up. So nine. Yeah. So we're in a nine. So we're in a completion. That does actually make sense. You know, in a completion, it's like you've in the eight, you've really rehashed a lot of old energy and done it over again. And I think we did see that with a lot of people in the world going back into the down that is locked. And um, <laughs> and some people still being stuck in that energy. Um, but I feel like last month was sort of the last go of it. You can let yourself inside, miss. Yes, you can let yourself in. You're not locked out. So... Um, don't mind me. I'm just placating an old dog here. Um, so I think that this nine is this completion energy this month is really standing alone because it's out of cusp energy. It's the fourth month. So we're out of the energy of 2020. We're fully standing in 2021 energy. And um, I think that we're just, we're really hammering home the lessons of the last year. And um and really so that we can fully complete that, the, the harsh lessons of 2020, and really start to, to move into 2021 and, and the age of Aquarius. So I think that those 12s, and now it does bear thinking about that <laughs> it's quite binary in a way, except for the month, but the day and the year, um, and then the total sum of it, it's one, two, two, one, <laughs> um, oh, two, two, one, one, two. <laughs> it's quite interesting in that way. So you do have a lot of ones and a lot of twos. Now ones are quite practical and twos are quite sensitive. So that's it. There, there could be some power struggles today. <laughs> so when you've got a lot of one energy, it's leadership energy, um, which can be very practical. You have to be a practical person to be able to lead, especially if it's leading by force. Now, by the same token, you can lead by example, which is more ideal in most circumstances. In some circumstances, you just need someone to take the torch and say, right, <laughs> and start delegating. Um, so you've, you've got that one energy that can be a bit combative because if you put two people in the same room who think that they know how things need to be done, you can come up against a bit of contention. So ones can be a bit problematic, especially when if there's an overbalance. So, and there's definitely an overbalance today. So we've got three ones and four twos in the total breakdown of everything. So, and twos are very sensitive as well. So you could have some combative energy and then people could be a bit sensitive about it. <laughs> so be mindful of that. You might need to walk away. And, um, yeah, just let cooler heads prevail and come back to it once everyone's calmed down and find some middle ground. Um, now, the twos are good for that because whilst they are sensitive and intuitive, they are also mediators and diplomatic. And so the twos will help you get through it. But, you know, once you've <laughs> everyone's calmed down 
and the sensitivity has sort of ebbed away. Um, now the other thing is because the 12 in the day breaks down to a three and then the 12 in the full breakdown breaks down to a three, you've got two sets of three energy. Um, now threes are expressive, creative, lucky number three. So you will have some luck today. You know, um, if you ask for it, you will receive it. Three is the first in um, God's numbers. So three, six, nine. So you've got two threes there today. Um, now that can also carry Christ consciousness energy. Um, it's perceived that Jesus was 33 when he died. And it's also perceived that he was walking a master number 33, which is the master number life path of healing, the master healer. So um, be mindful that, you know, the three is like every other number. Lucky number three, yes, it absolutely is lucky and you can get away with just about anything and get out of anything, you know, in in a good way. Um, as long as you're not doing anything nefarious, <laughs> I think you'll be excused if you're doing something nefarious or, or um, abjectly um, bad that you know you shouldn't be doing. But, you know, if you just try to work the system like everyone else, and you'll probably get away with it today. <laughs> so, um, but yes, it can carry the Christ energy, which means it has a bit of martyr energy. So do be mindful of that. Um, you know, don't let anyone take advantage of you and um, be mindful that you could be thrown under the bus in that kind of energy. It's just the balance. Every number has the balance, the good and the bad. So that's, to me, that's really the worst that it gets with a three. There can be a bit of bullying with a three. My, my nephew is a three life path and he's been quite bullied. So where there's a three, there can be that tendency. And especially when there's more than one. So it's a bit of an overbalance. Not as bad of an overbalance as the ones because there's three of those. And not as bad as an overbalance as the twos because there's four of those. Um, but yeah, there is a bit of overbalance with the three and because you've got the ones there that are, that are quite strong in their convictions and they're that, that leadership and courage and bravery type energy. Um, I think in that combination, there could be a chance of some, you know, people thinking that they know best today and it might just be best to walk away and be like, I'm not dealing with you today. I will deal with you tomorrow. <laughs> It might be the best way. They might need to go away and be like, oh, actually, I was, yeah, I was being a bit of a dick, actually. <laughs> um, especially people if they have ones in their life path because they will vibe very well if there are ones or twos or whatever. Um, I think we're always very comfortable in the energy that, that we're most familiar with. So whatever you have a lot of in your name charts for numerology or your birth chart for numerology, you're going to be comfortable there. So people with lots of ones will thrive in that kind of energy. People with lots of twos will and threes, but then it's a bit of a melting pot like it always. So yes, um, do be mindful of all of that and um, let me know how you're going with this weird palindrome energy. I think we're just really being hammered home our lessons so that once we hit that one, I'm guessing next month is a one, five, yeah, five, ten, one. So you've got the five of May, and then plus two, plus two, plus one, which is 10. And then one plus zero is one. So we've got that reset energy next month, but it's going to be a process to get there. It's not just straight into a one. It's a 10 and then it's a one. Um, so yeah, but I think we're just really trying to finish things off this month. So yeah, if your lessons feel like a bit relentless and like you've learned the lesson and then you get reinforced to you again this whole month, just go, oh, it's that weird palindrome and energy of, and um, in, in the nine month where the month and the year are adding up to a nine and really we're finishing off our lessons. <laughs> so we're getting one test. It's like, oh yeah, you have learned that lesson? Are you sure? Here comes another one. Enjoy. Now, have you really learned your lesson? Okay, good. So <laughs> if you keep getting the same lesson, it's the energy, but also do have a look at it and see if you're missing anything. So take care. I hope you're well and take three for luck until I see you next time. Bye.